Understanding Plush Toy Drive, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase in English, plush toy drive. This term might sound a bit complex at first, but don't worry. We'll break it down together and make it easy to understand. So, let's dive into the world of language learning and discover the meaning behind this unique phrase. Plush toy drive is a compound noun, which means it's a noun made up of two or more words that function as a single unit. Let's look at each part of this term. Plush toy refers to soft, stuffed toys often made of fabric and filled with a soft material. They are usually designed to look like animals or fictional characters and are popular among children. Drive, in this context means a campaign or an effort to collect something for a purpose. A plush toy drive is typically organized to collect plush toys for a charitable cause. The purpose can vary, donating to children's hospitals to comfort young patients, supporting shelters or crisis centers, where children might need a source of comfort holiday gifts for children in need during festive seasons organizing a plush toy drive involves several steps one setting a goal how many toys do you want to collect two finding a beneficiary who will receive the toys three promotion letting people know about the drive through flyers social media or word of mouth four collection setting up a place where people can drop off their plush toys 5. distribution delivering the toys to the chosen beneficiary want to participate in a plush toy drive here's how you can help donate a toy find a drive near you and donate a new or gently used plush toy volunteer help with the organization collection or distribution of toys Spread the word. Share information about the drive with friends and family. And that's all about plush toy drives. I hope this video has been informative and has helped you understand this heartwarming concept. Remember, language learning is not just about words and grammar. It's also about understanding the culture and the context in which phrases are used. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.